Hey there, welcome to the channel. My name's Owen, and today we're going to be coding a mod for the Steam release of Cookie Clicker. I will preface, uh, for this tutorial you don't need any prior programming knowledge, but at least a beginner level of understanding of JavaScript is required to go any farther with Cookie Clicker modding. And with that, let's get started. Alright, I'm going to give a minor spoiler warning as I'm in the later stages of the game. So uh, we can open up Cookie Clicker here. Do keep in mind that official mod support is only on the Steam version of Cookie Clicker, so if you're playing on a browser, sadly mods can't be installed. Okay, so now we need to open up the mods folder. To do that, we're going to go to the options up here and scroll down to the Manage Mods button. I've already downloaded a bunch of mods, so don't worry if your list here is empty. Uh, we'll hit the Open Slash Mods folder button right here. And it should open up a file explorer window. If you're on Mac or Linux, this will look different, but the process should be just about the same. All right, so we're going to double click the local folder. This is where the game stores mods that aren't downloaded from the Steam Workshop. Yours should only have sample mod, cooler sample mod, and language sample mod. These are prepackaged with the game as an example on how mods should be structured. There are obviously good resources on mod development, so after this tutorial, you can snoop around in there if you'd like. So to make a mod ourselves, we'll make a new folder. You can call this anything you'd like. I will name mine Tutorial Mod. All right. Make sure to follow the same capitalization as the other mods. It's just good practice. Okay, so here's where our code and information about the mod is going to go. For this, you, uh, you're going to need a text editor. Uh, Notepad will work just fine, but I'm using Sublime Text 3. So open up that, and uh, we have a blank file here. So in here, we're going to paste some text. I'll add this in the description if you want to copy it from there. Okay, so uh, each of these fields is uh, just some information about the mod. Here we have the name of the mod. You can put the title for it, um, the description for it. Just format that like any other text. Um, the author, uh, you can put a username, uh, your first name. It doesn't really matter. Um, this ID is actually uh, semi-important. It should be a unique ID formatted just like this, all lowercase uh, with spaces. So, um, and, and it should be like two or three words. Uh, just something unique to identify the mod. Um, the mod version, uh, you can just leave that alone because this is the first version of the mod that we're making. Um, game version, make sure that's the same as it is in game down here. Um, uh, right now, Cookie Clicker is at 2.048, but, uh, an update's coming out soon, uh, so I'm excited for that. Uh, the date, uh, you'll put the current date, right now it is 5-1-2023, this is just for documentation, it's not gonna break anything if you don't put a date. Um, for dependencies, uh, you can just leave that alone, and actually, I forgot something, um, disabled, th this will be in the description, um, disabled one, you'll have that, um, don't worry about these, these, uh, just leave blank, uh, just keep them how they are, so, uh, let's save our file, you can, uh, hit save, and, um, I'm, we're not in the folder we're supposed to be, so we'll go back to the folder we had all the mod stuff in. We were going to put the mod stuff in there. Um, we can click up here uh, to copy this text, and uh, we can go back to our save window from the text editor. Uh, we'll click up here and uh, paste and hit the enter key. So now we're, we're saving into that folder. Uh, we're going to call this file info.txt, and make sure down here it 
it is uh, all files. Uh, it's the same thing in Notepad. If you're using that. Uh, make sure it says all files. It's very important. Um, especially for the next thing. Uh, so you can just hit save here. All right, we're all set with that. So uh, we can restart Cookie Clicker. And if we go back into the mod menu after Cookie Clicker starts up, uh, we can see we can see that our mod we just made uh, is showing up. Very exciting. Of course, it doesn't do much if we were to enable that. Um, so let's have it do something. Okay, so we can go back into our text editor here and make a new file. And I, I have some more stuff to uh, for you to copy over. Uh, this is just some uh, text I've written. And up here, you're going to write uh, whatever you're... Whatever you put here for your ID, you should copy that over and uh, paste it in here. Um, this is just the game register mod function. Um, don't worry if you aren't familiar with JavaScript. I'm going to include a tutorial, very good tutorial in the description of the video. Um, if you're already familiar with JavaScript, you can jeer at how horrible my code is. Um, I whipped this up in 10 minutes and threw it on the workshop just to get something out once it first released. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, you can just paste this in. It should work. If we go ahead and save this, um, it should be in the same place. Um, if for whatever reason it's not, you can uh, do the same process we did to get to the tutorial mod folder in the local folder um, but it should be all set um, down here if it doesn't say JavaScript you're gonna want to uh, go to all files again this is very important for notepad um, so we're gonna call this file main.js and uh, hit save and so now uh, main.js is going to be loaded with the mod whenever it's run. So uh, if we restart Cookie Clicker here, um, just to refresh the mod, we can go into the options menu and uh, take note, this uh, news ticker, the text here is just white, plain old white. Um, if we go into manage mods again, scroll to, well, you won't have to scroll, I have to scroll. Um, you can go ahead and enable the mod we just made. Uh, restart with new changes. And yeah. Uh, now the news ticker is uh, slowly cycling through uh, some pastel rainbow hues. And that's what our JavaScript here did. Um, specifically, this bit right here is... Uh, working the magic and again if if all of this is gibberish to you um it's totally fine i uh just check out the tutorial i have in the description um it's how i learned javascript and uh how it interacts with html and uh fun fact cookie clicker is written in html and javascript so uh you know, make makes sense that you write the mods in JavaScript. But uh yeah, that's that's just about it. Um hope you learned something. Thank you very much for watching. I'm new to this sort of thing, so any feedback you have would be greatly appreciated. If you've got any questions regarding JavaScript or anything else we did, I'll be happy to help in the comments. Have a good one.